Okay, today we're gonna talk about urinary catheterization slash Foley insertion. And I want you to notice that there are two sizes of Foley kits. There is this little square size here, and then there is this rectangular size. It might be easier to see the rectangular there. And I want you to understand that these Foley kits, of course, come sterile from the manufacturer. So this, of course, would be sealed as such. So as with any sterile item you open, the first thing you're going to do is verify the integrity of the outside of the package first. And then once you have done so, then you would tear this open and then remove it from its package. And of course this becomes trash, but we're just gonna set it aside. Then once again, you would verify the integrity of this entire kit this way again. Now, um, the next thing we wanna talk about is placement of this kit when you're going to do a Foley insertion. It doesn't matter whether you're doing a male or a female. What you wanna do is place this kit close to the perineal area and you're going to open it sterilely, on envelope wrap it, just like you would any other item, okay? And now that is a sterile feel. The next thing I'm going to do, you can open glove anywhere. Most people open glove on the patient's abdomen or on a, just a separate surface. So I'm going to first open glove. And then once I get open gloved, we are going to talk about the parts of the Foley kit. All right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, of course it breaks. All right, it's good. So now I've open gloved. So let's talk about the parts of this Foley kit. There are two drapes in here. One has a fenestration, okay? And so as you can see, this has an opening or a fenestration. This one does not, okay? And so we'll talk about those in a little bit. The other thing you're gonna find in your kit is some type of uh, antiseptic um, cleanser, which would be torn open and poured over all of the cotton balls that you have. What I usually do is establish a place on my field where the trash is gonna go. And so I'm gonna actually go through the steps of placing these drapes because I'm gonna make this area my trash area. The first thing I do is I take this drape and I tuck it right under the perineal area. Then I take the fenestrated drape and place that over the opening, male or female. Okay, so now I've done that. The, second, the next thing I'm gonna do is tear the antiseptic pouch, pour over all of these cotton balls, the antiseptic lotion, okay? The other thing that you'll notice is, that is in here is a pair of uh, forceps for picking up the prep sponges. And then you're also going to find that there is some um, water um, to inflate the balloon, and then the lube. Mm -hmm. It's the foil packet. Oh, it's in the foil packet. Okay, this is a different one. Okay, so the lubricant is in here. This is the Surge Lube, okay? And you just pour that out somewhere on here. Usually what I do is I move this over here, I pour it in there, discard that. Okay, and then if the surgeon asks for a urine sample, that's what this little medicine, this little specimen cup is for, is if we need to take a urine specimen. Rarely will you see that happen. The other parts of the kit would be the actual catheter itself. 
which is affixed, as you can see, to the Foley bag, okay? This can just remain seated in here, but what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to first test the balloon. Now, um, some uh, manufacturers say that you do not have to test the balloon, but I always think it's a good idea to do so. Okay, so you affix that on there, and we're going to test the balloon. And the way you test the balloon is it's already pre-filled with the amount of saline or sterile water. And when you inflate it, hold it, make sure it's not leaking, then it will come back onto itself. You keep this syringe affixed to that hub. And now the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to place this in the lube. Remember I had put the lube right there, okay? So, usually I kind of do this number here. I separate it out, I'm gonna keep it like that. Okay, the next thing, now you're ready to actually do the entire Foley inser insertion or urinary catheterization because you have everything spread out. And that is the parts of the Foley kit.